Okay, so you've been doing some research on Grand Junction and the surrounding areas, and you find this town called Fruta. Well, that's where we're at today, and you're gonna find out what the heck's going on with the giant dinosaur in Town Square, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Robert Hayes. And I'm Christy Hayes. Isn't she gorgeous? We're the Hayes Home Group. And as I mentioned today, we're in Fruta, Colorado, showing you around on what it's like to live and play in Fruta. And if you're looking to move to and live in Grand Junction or any of the surrounding areas, be sure you give us a phone call, send us a text, send us an email, whatever you need to do to get a hold of us. And if you're new to this channel, be sure you hit the subscribe button, click that little bell. We're helping people all over the country move and relocate here to Grand Junction that way you're notified every time we post a new video we definitely got your back 24-7 Okay, so what's up with the giant dinosaur? Well, back in the early 1900s, they actually discovered one of the world's most intact fossils right here in Fruta of a brontosaurus. And so they kind of named the town after a mammal that they discovered of the same name, which kind of spawned a dinosaur museum, which is super fun for the kiddos. I've taken my son there a bunch of times. He loves it. So if you've got kids, they'll definitely enjoy going to the dinosaur museum. And as far as mountain biking goes, this is a world-renowned mecca for mountain biking. So if you love the outdoors and you like getting on your mountain bike, this is definitely the place to go. There's miles of trails and you're not gonna have any issues finding a trail that suits your, your skill level, let's say. So fruit is the place to be. You're gonna find just a wide range of home selection options in Fruta. You're gonna have some of your older historic homes. You're gonna have newly developed subdivisions that are gonna be anywhere between three, dollars $400,000. So you're gonna have no problems finding something that not only fits your budget, but that fits your lifestyle in Fruta without any problems whatsoever. So this is pretty typical of what you're gonna find in one of the newer subdivisions in Fruta. Actually, this subdivision here is still building homes. There's a few lots that are they're still building on. And you're looking at, you know, 350 to 450, right in that range for these kind of newer construction homes in this area. And right now, over the last, I think it's what, last year, Christy? Last year, yeah. last year Fruta home prices have gone up about 5%. So you're certainly making a good investment choice by buying in Fruta. And if you're a buyer, interest rates are still low, so now's a great time to get in. So the town of Fruta is about 10,000 in population. And the funny thing is here locally, people say they don't wanna live in Fruta because of the eight minute drive, the crazy eight minute drive into town. So those of you who live in some bigger cities, Denver, maybe somewhere in Texas, you're thinking eight minute drive, that's not bad at all. I would have no problem living in Fruta, driving into town for eight minutes. Right here, every summer, they hold the Fat Tire Festival. So this whole park is just filled with all kinds of vendors, mountain bikers. In fact, there's a link in our About section called Fat Tire Festival. Click on there and you can learn all about what that is, when that is. It's a real good time for the whole family to come out, enjoy some food, some snacks, do a little mountain biking. And Christy, for her to do her yoga, of course, that's important too. So 
So not too long ago, something that they actually built in Fruta, which is super cool for all the kids and the family to come and enjoy just a fun afternoon, is the Fruta Rec Center. They have an indoor pool with a water slide, an outdoor pool, so you can go lay out and get yourself a tan, two basketball courts indoors, daycare, you name it, they've got it here at the Fruta Rec Center. And if you wind up doing that just out of control, over the top belly flop, hospital's right across the street. So Fruita has some great schools, two elementary schools, a middle school and kind of a, a middle school feeder school into the high school, Fruita Monument High School, which is currently going under some renovation to kind of beautify the common area, some of the parking lot area. And it's gonna really come out, I think, super nice when it's all done. Okay, so we've saved the best for last. This is the coolest place. They just opened up a year ago. It's the Amandi Wakeboard Zone. Yeah, you don't need a boat to wakeboard in Fruta. Let's go check it out. I went to Fruita Junior High and Fruita Monument High School and there wasn't much to do out here then but now we have the wakeboard park, we have the rec center and tons of new restaurants so come and check it out. In fact I might have some footage of Christy <laughs> on this tow rope here last summer. Let's check that out. The peach is back, so we're headed inside to get us a peach pizza. everybody thanks for taking a little tour with us in Fruta Colorado obviously that's just a little snapshot so if there's a certain area subdivision you'd like us to you know go out and check out and video for you comment below and let us know and again just a reminder if you're looking to move to and live in Grand Junction or the surrounding areas we're helping everyone all over the country relocate here so make sure you give us a phone call shoot us a text an email send us a pigeon doesn't matter we're here for you we got your back 24-7. We'll talk to you soon.